on Facebook, show, social media. This thing really, as Kim said, has gone viral to the point where national, even people outside the United States, piping in on this uh, Facebook page. And Sal took it down. He wanted everybody to know. We're talking about Sal Piazza, who post, not the page, uh, took the post down. Yep. But he wanted people to know he didn't take it down because he's afraid. He took it down because people, and uh, Kim's laughing, uh, he took it down because friends and family members asked him to because they were being dragged into it. And Kim, you know, the the the, the daughter, his daughter and son-in-law are, I couldn't believe it when you were listening earlier, I, I, they're at odds with their father on this, which surprised and me. And so. But, but at the same time, they're being dragged through this and harassed, and I mean, it's really, really terrible what's going on. I know it's not you no, guys that doing awful. it. That needs to stop. But it does that need to stop. Needs to yeah. stop. Okay, so I want you to be able but, to tell your side of the story from the pit bull side. And well, I'm going to actually address a couple of things Sal said because he's the self proclaimed expert with 38 years' experience. Okay. Um, and he's handled hundreds of dogs, and I won't take that away from him. Mm-hmm. But an average year, I handle over. 1,500 to 2,000 pit bulls between going to shelters, my own business, and who comes to me from the community. So I have a few more pit bulls under my belt than he does in my 10 years' experience. Okay. Um, and then we're talking genetics. He, he mentioned genetics and how these dogs were bred for this and bred for this. But you would agree, though, that, that dogs, you know, uh, dogs are bred for certain reasons. Hunting dogs, uh, okay. sheep and, dogs. And I will and absolutely agree to that. There's but you know what most pit bulls are bred for nowadays? Well, it's different the today. Yeah. Dollar. Right, right. They're, be- they're bred yeah. in backyards. They're yep. mixed with labs. They're mixed with this. They're mixed with that. And again, pit bull is not a breed. It is a culmination of a bunch of breeds of dogs. It's a mixed breed. It's a... Uh, yeah, but... Yeah. Kim, no, you, no. You, pit bull you, does not exist. But, Kim, you even yourself, in describing your experience, say, I've dealt with 2,000 pit bulls a year. It's a term... You, we all know what we're talking about. Yeah, you can't have it both ways. Uh, we do, but here's where it's used against people. Again, you take a Dogo Argentina, which is 120 pounds, and you take my little New York 7 dogs that were 38 pounds. And they're all labeled pit bulls. So my point is, when you mix and combine 20, 30 different breeds of dogs, your statistics become useless. Okay, and you right. can't put them all in the same category, and we do with the term pit bull. But wouldn't you be really okay? talking about a... Wouldn't you be really talking about... Dogs that are bred to be, but they're uh, not bred for anything except to sell on Craigslist for a couple hundred dollars to I, make somebody money. But you, but the 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 uh, listen when you buy a Hummer, um, right? You're you're buying it because you want to drive down the road and be driving a vehicle with some girth. When you buy a pit bull or a dog that is like a pit bull, you're buying it for there's a the, the dog says a lot about the a lot, a lot about the owner, and I I think there's a there's a novelty there. So, right? Well, I would okay, Bill. So I'm going to ask you, what okay. is a, how much does a pit bull weigh? Well, you've just told how me that you can't, you can't, well, I, 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 listen, I, Kim, I don't even know how tall I am, to be honest with you. Uh, it depends <laughs> I on whether, my height. I love okay. it. All right, thank you. <laughs> depends on whether but, I'm wearing my lifts. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah there you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, I mean, you're saying that pit bulls are bought for a certain characteristic of their breed. Well, I didn't say pit bulls, though. I'm trying to follow your lead here by saying when any dog or a pit bull type dog, people buy dogs for a certain reason. Like there's a reason why somebody buys a dog that's like six feet tall. You know, those huge dogs right, right, that right. I could like I could sit there yes. and put my yeah. arm on and rest up with huge, enormous dogs or the yes. I mean, people buy dogs for reasons. And there's a. Same kind of reason why people buy exotic uh, exotic uh, snakes and stuff. I mean, people do it for a reason. There's a novelty to it, and it's something that matches your personality in some way, whether it's in contrast to your personality. Or, but there's a reason. The same reason yeah. somebody might buy a, a pit bull or a right. red sports car or whatever. I get that. I get that. Yeah. But, as again, people act like these dogs are genetically bred, genetically tested, for, to perpetuate the breed. I think you bring up that's Most a good point. Most of the point. dogs out there now are bred in backyards because somebody wants to make an extra thousand dollars. So our question this morning, uh, the Hobika question for uh, for a hundred dollars, was: When pit bulls were originally bred in Great Britain, what two dog breeds did they use? And the answer is bulldog and terrier. Um, yeah. So 
since then, that's if, had it stayed that way, that would have become the pit bull, the 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 pure pit bull with is mixed and, and created. Yeah. But now what you're saying is it's mixing all sorts of. So instead of calling them pit bulls, they'd be dogs that are. Uh, I don't know, dogs that are big. and They're bull breeds, but bull they're breeds. all different. Get it. They're all different okay. sizes, and they're all different temperaments. And you can't generalize that many I dog that. breeds under, well, you know, they snap and they bite without warning. And Shale knows this because, you know what, he does know what he's doing at training. I won't, you know, take that away from him. He has 38 years experience. He knows that every dog can bite. Yeah. Okay. Dogs bite when we take away their choices. Dogs bite when we don't listen to their body language because that's their way of communicating if we haven't shown them another way. All right. I think and that's, that's a every breed. Good that's point. not pit bulls. That's not shepherds. If a dog, if a kid's laying on a dog's stomach and pulling at their fur and they don't like it, I'll guarantee you that dog's going to look away to avoid. That dog's going to whale eye. That dog's fur is going to go up. Wow. And right. then when nobody's listening to that dog, he's going to snap. Yeah. Or she's going to snap. I agree with okay. you. That, that can happen to... And there are some dogs, by the way, that are crazy. And like, the dog will lay there. The kid's climbing on top You'll of just their let head. It happen. Just laying just there, there like, I don't enough. really care. Yeah, yeah there's another what dog. Lay on a chihuahua. Same breed that could, yeah. be, could snap at the kid. Yeah. You know, so it is nothing to do with the breed. Okay. Are pit bulls I, I, high... Well, are the bull breeds typically high parade ribbon? Absolutely. So are labs. They'll chase that tennis ball. They'll chase that squirrel into next year. But my point is, they talk about genetics like this has been bred and worked okay. on in, right. okay. in a scientific process, mm. and it's not. Okay, next point. Do you have any other points you want to hit on? Because uh, oh, I, I, I have a lot of points I want to okay. hit on. I only so, have so much time. I, I know, and I appreciate the time. Reader's though. Digest. But, <laughs> Reader's Digest. For <laughs> well, we don't want anyone attacking Sale's family. And here's the thing. Sale has been against pit bulls for, or bull breeds mm. for quite a while, and nobody cared. We're like, we were pretty happy that he didn't want to train bulls because we don't like his methods. Okay. We don't like the prong collars. We don't like the shock collars. We don't like the, his methods. And that's fine. He, we don't want him to train bulls. Okay? We didn't have, nobody had a problem with him until he came out and said, take your dogs back to the shelter, prove to me you did this, Get another dog, and I'll train it for free. Doesn't, doesn't he have And a... if he honestly thinks that flooding an entire community with dogs returning back to the shelter isn't going to get dogs killed, then he's an extremely short-sighted man. Doesn't he have the right to that opinion, though? He can have it. As I said, Bill, he's had this opinion for quite I, a few I understand years. That, but... We ignored it because we didn't care. Yeah. You can have your opinion. You, you can look at a dog. Yeah, no, I'm not touching that dog with a 10-foot pole. Right. As a trainer, I have dogs that have come to me, and I'm like, nope, not putting my name on that dog. Forget that. You need to go find somebody else or yeah, put the dog yeah. down. I'm, I'm okay with him not wanting. I prefer he doesn't train bulls. Bulls don't belong on prong collars. So, fine, don't train a bull. Loved him for that. Thought right. it was the best thing he ever said. All right. Well, I, it has. So, yeah, it has certainly gotten out of control. Nobody's problems is when he started talking breed discrimination. Yeah, banning the breed, not adopting the breeds out until he started attacking not for profits. Yeah. who are yeah. doing their job and doing it well and have been doing it well for eighty to one hundred years. That's when people had a problem with him. So nobody swung at Sale first. Yeah. Sale right, right. swung, and Sale got slapped back down by the entire world. Right. And yes, I'm sure he's had 20, 30, how? I'm sure he's had 100 people call him to go for training because there's a lot of people who don't like the bulls. God bless their hearts. We don't want you to have them. All right. But uh, if you're going to swing at not for profits, if you're going to swing at an entire. What was the swing? Uh, he said dog, he, he did say. We're going to swing back. He did say that the, uh, the, he doesn't feel that the humane societies are being responsible when, when, okay. with, with giving out the pit bulls okay saying well this pit bull is not good around kids while well, he's saying well that that dog should be euthanized that i believe is is what okay. was said so, and, and he also right. did say well, right. i don't have children so if i want to go adopt a dog that sure. isn't great sure. around kids i should be that should yeah. be allowed because he thinks that every dog should love every child well really? i mean there is an overpopulation of, of pit bulls and uh, maybe if we were to filter out the ones that are known to be aggressive, that would help. There's a big overpopulation. You know that yeah. as well as I do. So it's not like you wouldn't so be able wanna, to get a pit bull. So 
again, the world must revolve around the fact that if one dog doesn't fit in every single household, it should die. Really? That's no. the position no, you want to If the dog is aggressive, I would be okay with those dogs being screened as aggressive and not... I'm sorry. I, as you said, you you yourself if they're have, aggressive. have turned down dogs that were known to be yeah. overly aggressive. And that's what Bill's oh, trying to say. I, that, I mean, that's what Bill's I, trying to say. All I'm saying is a screening process to... To weed out aggressive... Screening process is, is Not just amazing. pit bulls, but aggressive dogs, period. Uh, okay, but they have an amazing screening process that's nationally recognized, and it works. Yeah. I'd also like to find a breed of cats that won't pee in the plants you bring in during the wintertime. <laughs> Damn it all. That's never going to happen. Nothing. <laughs> it's a cat Nothing. thing. I say aluminum foil works. I'm using yeah. aluminum foil. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> There's a cat pen, okay? Use it, for God's sake. Cats are peeing in the plants, Kim, yeah. is what he's trying to say. That's terrible. Well, they smell squirrels in there or something like that. What are we talking about? Oh, I'm attention deficit. Um, <laughs> right, Shiny thing. Yeah, you Any, get that way, Bill. Anything else you want to add to this? Because I'm going to let Sal have the final, final word, unless you want to hang to have the final, final, final word. I'll hang to have the final, final oh, word, because okay. you know I'm good like that. You are. Sit tight, and then i I got to get to Honky Talk Man. Uh, Sal Piazza, I'll give you like a minute here. Go ahead. First of all, I just want to say to Kim, or ask Kim if she's still on the line, have you ever watched me train a dog? Hold on. Because they didn't want to go on together. Right, okay. Kim, so play. Kim, have you ever watched him train a dog? Uh, I've watched his videos, and actually, I, I don't have a problem with most of what he does. I've seen his stuff on his page. Okay. I agree right. with him on responsible ownership and some of the stuff he does. Okay, hold on. Uh, did you hear that answer? Sal? What did you say? She said that uh, that she has seen you on videos. Yeah. Okay. This is my my beef with her right now. First of all, nobody slapped me down with all their rhetoric. Well, on hold on. She said she said she see, say. I'm sorry. She saw the videos. She agrees that some of that you. She agrees that you're both on the same page about responsible ownership. Yeah, he gets and she likes yeah. some of the things okay. you do. All right. Well, but, but what I have a, a a little complaint with is this. Bill mentioned it yesterday that people say I'm hard on dogs. And Kim mentioned that we don't believe in pinch collars. We don't believe in electronic collars. When did she ever see me use an electronic collar on a dog? Do you? No. Oh. The you pinch collar, do you use the pinch collar? Yes. I got to tell you. The pinch collar was developed yeah. to mimic the mother dog or the alpha dog correcting the pack. It's a natural thing for a dog. I know it's an awful thing to say, Sal, but we, on, on our dog that we could not control, we used one of those electric collars. Well, it was okay because I tried it out in the studio. I, I did it on Andrew, and I got to tell you, you yeah. never had to use the electric thing. You just had to make it beep. Well, and once they the heard the beep. between the electric collars yeah. and the electric fences? That thousands right. of people okay. around their yards. I, I'm going to have this to be continued because i got to move on. Kim, uh, final, final, final word. There you have Until it. Until next time. What do you say? I'm sorry? You, you, I'm giving you the final, final, final word. The final, final, final word is you can't specify a breed and generalize a breed into saying they uh, are all bad. Okay. He cannot train pit bulls all day long, and we're happy with that. Okay. Just Leave, don't try to get breed specific legislation, or we're going to come back at you three times as hard as you're coming at us. Okay. All right, Kim, thank you. Um, right. And Sal, I thank you as well. Thanks so much. And as Sal said, he's getting business out of this. Ten people have signed wow. up for his and services. He's getting some threats, too, and I think it's ridiculous and disgusting. It is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It shows you, though, this is more, and this isn't, this whole segment's not about dogs as much as it is about the dangers of social media. Yeah. <laughs>